Hello, my name is Jeremy Lancaster. I'm a supervising engineering geologist uh, with the Department of Conservation, California Geological Survey. And I'm showing a map here on screen of uh, the Ridgecrest area, and uh, particularly an earthquake event occurred in Ridgecrest, in the Ridgecrest area on July 4th at around 10.35 in the morning. That earthquake occurred about right in this area, the magnitude 6.4. We thought that was the, uh, the main shock. Um, you can see the aftershock sequence migrated to the north and to the south a little bit on what we call the Little Lake Fault Zone. And then we also had an aftershock sequence uh, migrate to the southwest on an unknown fault zone. Um, there was some damage in, in the town of Ridgecrest um, and a little bit in the town of Trona. But ge generally this is a, a low, low populated or a, has low population density. Um, Subsequent to that, we had a magnitude 7.1 earthquake occur yesterday, July 5th, at around 8.19 in the evening. Um, and that earthquake produced a major aftershock sequence and surface rupturing event on the Little Lake Fault, which I'll show you on the next map. So you can see here is the epicenter of, of that magnitude 7.1 earthquake and that aftershock sequence migrating up near the Coso Volcanic Field. So that, that sequence extended about 20 miles. So what we thought was the original earthquake event was, was now um, superseded by this magnitude 7.1. So the 6.4 is now what we call a foreshock and the 7.1 is the main event. Um, that aftershock sequence has migrated down to the southeast towards the Garlock Fault, which is the, the second longest fault um, in California. And uh, we're, we're just lucky that uh, this area is, uh, doesn't, isn't highly populated except for the town of Ridgecrest. Uh, we have major arter arterial routes through here. Highway 178 uh, extends into the Trona Valley. Highway 395 extends all the way up into the Mammoth Lakes area. Uh, so we have about nine uh, geoprofessionals in the field mapping the surface rupture and the deformational patterns and uh, as well as documenting damages and there will be mo more there will be more posted on conservation.ca.gov. Thank you.